Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And I'm trying to keep my energy level up today. I don't feel good. My right side is really killing me. Uh, for those that don't know, I've had nerve damage recently. I thought it was something completely different. Sometimes when my mind games get really bad, I kind of like, you know, stumble when I walk and my head, you know, feels like my head weighs a million pounds and uh, like I hunch over and stuff. And I thought it was something related to that, but I noticed there was actual pain there. So I went and got it checked out. It turns out I have some nerve damage in my leg and in my like bottom right side you know and so it's been it's been tough week actually uh, luckily I was off for two days so I was able to rest on it so I feel a little bit better I am on pain meds uh, they're helping out a little bit uh, but um, but also you know they wear off pretty quickly um, so uh, anyway now I'm on my way home from work I was able to leave work about an hour and a half early which is nice for the pain bad for me because I don't I, I know sometimes I leave work early and that's great it's it's a nice thing when it happens sometimes but it is money I'm losing out on and I need every penny I can get so it's also tough tough uh, to leave work early for me uh, so tonight I was like they just really didn't need me there was so many of us there at the store and uh, and you know we were we were fine and we got a lot of our side projects done so it was like hey I, I need I got to work the next three days in a row and they're weekend days you know like Friday and Saturday I got to work and those days are important that I don't call out so I need to make sure I'm rested now so that I could do those shifts so yeah so I, I'm not feeling that great I was gonna take a like a little trip maybe drive for 30 minutes from where I work over to Golden Apple and see them because I haven't been there in like two weeks and pick up my pull list unfortunately I was like I'm in too much pain I want to go home walk my dog and everything but I do want a comic book to read so uh, I'm gonna pass House of Secrets on the way home and uh, and I did and I picked up uh, X-Men Blue and this does uh, have a digital code so I'm gonna put that right here so first person to put that code in gets this issue with this is X-Men annual number one and it's the start of the X-Men Venom Poison X crossover and you know I never thought about it before but Venom and the X-Men have never done a crossover like Wolverine and Venom have met and Venom has met a couple other X-Men characters but there have never been like a Venom X-Men crossover ever and that blows my mind because in the early 90s and mid 90s uh, when the Venom books were selling and the X-Men books were selling really big those were two of my favorite comic books at marvel and i was surprised that even then they didn't cross over uh that sh that would like that's like printing money i don't know why they didn't think of it so here we have the original five x-men from the past uh who are hanging out with venom and this is continuing the venom verse storyline and setting up venomized so make sure you go out and pick this up if you're a venom fan support your local comic stores or if you buy comicsology wherever you buy comics but if you do like print comics pick it up from a local comic store for real uh, support these guys uh, so I'm glad I can support two now uh, and give my money to Golden Apple and House of Secrets because I love both stores dearly um, so yeah there's the code first person to put in gets it every week a new issue of this comes out and then also we have the regular Venom monthly book that comes out all that stuff I'll give codes away and I still even though I got a subscription to Venom I really just did that to add something new to the videos where I can go down to my mail mailbox and pick up a copy of Venom. Uh, but I'm still probably going to pick up copies at Golden Apple. So I may have two codes of each Venom book coming up to give away to you guys. So I, I, I what it's what's an extra four bucks to invest in this channel every week? I, I don't mind at all. So uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying them, I'll keep giving them out. So enjoy that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and the next this is episode 50 I just realized uh, this is episode 50 I'm doing the intro for and uh, and we have footage uh, from the movie there's been like all these footage there's like 10 6 10 18 second videos and then some like one two minute videos of Tom Hardy in San Francisco people record them on their phone uh, Tom Hardy Italia the, the YouTube channel posted a lot of these so we're gonna watch those in the next half of this video and uh, I'm gonna bring that footage to you guys but I'm also gonna urge you to go to Tom Hardy Italia and subscribe to them so that way you don't have to wait for me to make these videos episode, you can watch them yourself when they go live again, on I'm gonna channel. swear so pl plug your ears uh, earmuffs um, we talked about a fuck ton of Venom comics. Well, now we're going to talk about a fuck ton of Venom videos. Uh, these are nothing super exciting. I'll say that right off the bat. Uh, but these are eight videos that uh, that Tom Hardy Italia's YouTube channel posted today. And I think these are just shot from other people and some of them from the set and everything like that. Um, and they these were, on, I think, released online and maybe taken away. And so usually when something like that happens, like the Jenny Slate pictures, I've never made a video on those. I do have those pictures, but I didn't make a video because I heard, uh, you know, uh, Atlanta Filming and a couple other people were to told not to share them. And if that's the case and I don't want to share them, I want to be respectful of the rules, even though no one told me that. It seems to be a rule to someone. And so I want to respect that rule. So I thought maybe these videos were taken down uh, because I think Bleeding Core, someone, I think uh, Venom Gaming was telling me about them. 
and I think they were taken down. They don't really show much. It's mostly Tom Hardy walking around San Francisco and uh, you know, while other people are doing things. So this first one, you know, I'm just going to watch all of them real quick. There's probably going to be very little audio on them, uh, but I'll have them post, you know, up here while I'm watching. And they're like six, ten, you know, six seconds, ten seconds, twenty seconds. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff to go off of here, but I just figured it's something. And it's and since there's eight of them, I'm like, yeah, that would make a good 50th episode. Um, so yeah, so let's let's check out the first one. It's called Having Drinks While Tom Hardy Is Working. Uh, L O L um, is the thing. So let's let's click on this one and we'll get it started. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. So literally, that was it. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was just him walking by while someone was sitting at a table having a drink. Um, yeah, and then of course I had to get some like -da 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 update thing right when that uh, video was playing, but that's okay. Uh, the next one, having drinks while Tom Hardy is working, LOL, part two. Uh, so this time from across the street. So I think, I don't know what the scene is, but it looks like he's just kind of wandering the streets of San Francisco, uh, which means what I was talking about before, which is filming in Atlanta had wrapped up and, and they're probably still doing a couple pickup shots back there but their cast and their stars are you know head to san francisco to finish and i think we're coming up from what i heard january 26th may be the last day of principal photography they may still do a couple pickups and other things in san fran and atlanta but i think for the most part it ends in a couple days uh, so if it does and i get news of that and we'll talk about it, we'll do an episode on it for sure um and, uh, and then they'll go into editing and they'll start doing post-production on it. And then if they need it, they'll do reshoots. Uh, but uh, I think this they've been shooting since September. So hopefully they got everything they need. But sometimes you think you do, you get in the editing room and you're like, oh, we need this. We need a shot of Eddie doing this. Or we need a shot of uh, Ann Weying doing this, you know, whatever. Um, all right. So it's, this next one is Filmato DLG. Um, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> again, again, these are super quick. Like, these don't show much about the movie or anything like that. But, yeah, just fun uh, videos of people just catching Tom, uh, you know, on set. And, yeah, there's there's even a comment on this video. There's one comment from Sherry W. She says, hi, Tom Hardy. I love you. <laughs> a little shout-out to Sherry W. there. Um, all right, this is another Filmato D um, video. This one's 54 seconds. So let's dive right into this one. Um so this, uh, so again, just it's just a lot of walking around um, is pretty much what's going on. Um, <laughs> I mean, like I can't really react to these because it's it's we don't know really what's going on. It looks like he's vaping there. Uh, yeah, so he's like definitely vaping. Someone, I think it was a uh, one of our subscribers on here was telling me that he vapes in uh, in in real life. Uh, so probably doing this shot it's because they're probably like oh did you get the shot good i'm gonna i'm gonna take a hit of this um and then it looks like he runs into someone down here but i don't know if that's like a crew member or i don't know if it's you know just a fan who was like oh my god you're really tom hardy you know you never know um so uh yeah anyway just another just another quick video there um all right the next video here is called tom hardy acting in my alley uh, so let's see what this is about. You can already see like a, a boom mic and a steady cam operator. Whoa. <laughs> so it, these scenes, like it's really hard because, uh, cause, you know, last time we saw a scene where he was like got out of a car and he was like twitching around, I guess he was like fighting with the symbiote. Uh, there was multiple takes of that. So there was another take later on that uh, Tom Hardy Italia posted up. And again, like I'll put the link to this channel down below if you're not subscribed to it please do because every once in a while you get little snippets like this uh, of the Venom movie and right now with this movie being held so close to the vest this is all we got so it's like it's it's good to have something it's something to me is better than nothing and it keeps us talking and speculating but when he's like wigging out and like kind of twitching and stuff some of them look a little comedic but again uh sometimes they do in one take or two takes and then you get a rhythm down and then he's like all right let me do another take or let's we'll shoot it this way and then that way you don't see the bottom half of me and the top half like i'm really freaking out or you know there's there's so many ways for movie magic to make it look uh, less comical if they choose to go that route um and then obviously you could play up the comedy if you want to go that route but to me i feel like this is you know they at least they said after that last one that they're going for a more serious approach there is humor in this but it's more gallows humor it's more dark humor which makes a lot of sense if you read some of the venom comics from the 90s he had a twisted sense of humor for sure 
Um, so, yeah, hopefully we see a lot of that. Like, when when someone like Venom with big teeth and looks all nasty saves, like, a little kid, you know, it's that already is comedic. That's like Blade, you know, uh, saving a child, like, you know, which Blade has done. And it's just, there's such a, a stark contrast to the visuals of that, you know, because Blade is so serious and just in the zone. Uh, and then you have, like, this child who's, like, so innocent and free, and they almost get attacked, and, you know, he comes in and saves the day, and but kills them, like, kills the vampires in, like, bloody fashion, blood spraying everywhere. And then he, like, turns and looks at the kid, and the kid's probably, like, covered in blood, and, like, and he's like, are you okay? And the kid's like, yes. And he's like, okay. And then he, like, leaves. You, know, you can have so many good comedic moments like that that's, like, really dark. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so let's look at this next one. It's called Which Way Do I Go? Part 1. And this one's about 18 seconds, so a little longer than usual. Um, and some of these list like what streets they're on, I think too. Um, like some of these videos had like the, the hashtags on some of these videos tell you where exactly they in San Francisco they shot, like on what streets they shot. Uh, so that was cool that they did that. Um, so yeah, and some of these could be like this, could be just people, fans, and this Italia website is just finding that footage and re-uploading it for people to see, keeping all in one place. Or this person who's shooting all this could be like an assistant or associate with Tom Hardy and shoot a lot of this stuff. Um, so here we go. Which way do I go? Part two. Hmm. So that, like, again, like if you're looking for a reaction from me, it's like hard because I'm like, there's nothing really to react to here. Um, it's just someone walking. And again, these are like those... Those almost like pickup shots. Like there's not a lot of story element to this. It's like we, we all right. We need shots of him walking around the city. Maybe the story element is he's lost or he's looking for a certain building, like the Life Foundation. And maybe he's like he's just like all right. I'm I'm not having any luck. Although I feel like a, the Life Foundation building in a, a fictional universe would be like a Trump Tower. Like you would know right where it is. You know for the most part uh, if you're in the city. So uh, and especially him who. Eddie Brock's from here, and he's a journalist, so he probably it's probably not that. So I doubt he's really lost, but I'm curious to see what how this will play in the movie, like what he's doing exactly. Because I can't imagine an, an investigative journalist from San Francisco being lost in San Francisco. Uh, but you never know. You never know. It could be the suit making him move, for all we know. <laughs> that was it. Just, <laughs> just him walking by. All right, well, that was it. Those were the F-ton of uh, videos. We had eight videos there from uh, Tom Hardy Italia, the YouTube channel. Again, I'll put a link down below. Please subscribe to them. Every once in a while, you get a little nugget like this. I'm sure as we get closer to the movie, we might see other stuff. If you're a Peaky Blinders fan or some of the other work that Tom has done, uh, they post videos of that on here, of him on those sets. Uh, so this is just a, a neat way to get little blips of him if you're a big fan. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, not much to go on. It's just him walking around San Francisco, but it does confirm what we were talking about for a while, which is he was going to be leaving uh, to, you know, Atlanta and shooting some exterior pickup shots and other things here in San Francisco because obviously you don't want, you know, you can use movie magic to like do close-ups of people in a different city and be like, oh, we can make, uh, you know, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, like in Spider-Man 2. I think they made Cleveland, Ohio look like New York, but it's because they did all the close-up shots and, and some of the battles and shot it certain ways and then they would go to New York and get all these great exterior shots and have the actors you know, with that as the background for the wide shots. So, yeah, sometimes that happens and you splice those together and you make a coherent movie out of them. At least that's the goal. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this. This is our 50th video, so I figured, hey, we actually got footage from the movie in a roundabout way, uh, from the set at least, uh, and I wanted to share this with you guys. So let me know what you think. Follow Tom Hardy Italia down below, and thank you for being subscribed, and hopefully keep sharing. We're almost at 1,000. Like, we're almost at 900, really, but I'm feel good about us getting to a thousand and that's thanks to all of you so i'm glad you're enjoying the show if you have any suggestions anything you think i'm not doing well and you think i can improve on let me know i really want to just try to keep getting better at this and bring content that you guys enjoy so i'm always down for feedback as well so thank you so much as always for watching the show lecture subscribe all that fun stuff i'll see you in the future peace